Hitman really is a game where you can fully immerse yourself. And there already are lots of settings helping to achieve that feel. However, if we start introducing mods, we can take things to a whole new level. All the mods I'm gonna use today will be linked in the description and are installed using the simple mod framework. If you're new to Hitman modding and wanna give these a try, you will also find a tutorial down below explaining how it works. The first mod I added was a way to make the HUD as minimalistic as possible. We still need to disable most HUD elements in the settings, but this way we got rid of almost everything on our screen. Only the crosshair remains, because it's just quite difficult to hit anything without it, and we still have text above interaction points. Alternatively, we could use a mod that toggles all HUD elements on and off by just pressing Ctrl and F2, if that's something you would prefer. Next I wanted to give the gunplay a more realistic feel, and there's a lot that can be done here. Most notable, NPCs have been made even more attentive to sound than a master difficulty, and combat is now more lethal both ways. So we can kill NPCs more easily, but they can do the same to us. I also removed the bullet explosion effect when hitting a shot, and NPCs start limping instead of running when they get hit. And when guards start shooting at us, they will have no mercy for any crowd NPC standing in their way. What's missing now is making it all sound a bit more realistic. Conveniently, there's one mod called Immersive Sound, and it gives you the option to turn off all kinds of sound effects. And to enhance this even more, I tried out some new sounds for silent and loud pistols. And with all these changes, this is how it looks and sounds now. Command! You said it, you. Go, this man off! This next mod is for everyone who always wondered how Diana communicates with us, and how it could be made more realistic. By making her sound like she's speaking to us over an earpiece. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dahlia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor. And we can even add that earpiece to 47 for all suits and disguises. Diana is not the only one we can make sound more realistic though. With the accent overall mod, Guards and staff in all maps you can see here will use a more fitting accent for the location they are in. I think you need to step back, monsieur. Restricted access, you know. Please, piss off. Hokkaido is pushing it even further and lets some NPCs speak in their native language. And for last, you have seen me use it throughout the video now, but I really do think the Times of Day mod adds a new layer of immersion as the player gets to decide the date times of almost all maps in the game. And with the rain mod, we even get to control the weather. Combined with all the other changes we made, and Hitman 3 really starts to feel like a new game. Some information before wrapping up this video, the minimal HUD mod will not import into a simple mod framework correctly, but we can easily fix this ourselves. Just open the downloaded mod zip file, drag out the manifest and delete it inside the zip file, then open the manifest, and in the second line, all we gotta do is remove this character, then save that and put it back in a zip file. And now it can be imported with no issues. Also, you will see lots of these yellow warnings when you apply your mods, but don't worry about those, I personally didn't encounter any issues. And remember to always apply your mods again whenever you change any of their options. And that should be all. Which of these mods did you like the most? Let me know in the comments. And that's it for me for now. Hope to see you again next time.